everybody. Today we're going to talk about a less familiar Bible story. We're going to talk about King Josiah. Has anybody ever heard this story before? It's not one we talk about very often, so let's go ahead and listen to the story. King Manasseh had been a very bad king. He and the people of Judah worshipped idols and forgot the laws of God that God gave to Moses. People stopped going to the temple and it was shut down. But later, Josiah, his grandson, who was only eight years old, became the king. He was a good king. Eighteen years passed, and he decided to repair the temple in Jerusalem. He sent a servant to the high priest to collect the donation of money people gave the priests at the temple door. The king needed the money to pay the workmen to fix the temple. While the servant was counting the money for the king, he explored the temple and found an old scroll. On it was written all the laws which God gave Moses on Mount Sinai. He thought they had been lost. The high priest gave the old scroll to King Josiah's servant, and he read the laws of Moses and the Ten Commandments to Josiah. The king was very upset when he heard God's laws and prayed for forgiveness. His people had forgotten the one true God. They prayed to idols and behaved badly. He was very sorry for the ways everyone had disobeyed God. The priest and others went to show the scroll to a woman who loved God. She was the prophetess of Hulda. She told them that unless they obeyed what was written in the law of Moses, they would face God's punishment for their disobedience. And she said, but tell King Josiah that because he was humble and sorry for not obeying how God wanted him to live, he will be spared the punishment God is going to send. The king gathered all the people into the temple and read the laws of Moses to them. The king made a promise to God to rid his kingdom of idols and evil and to follow God's law. He went through the whole kingdom and destroyed all the evil places and idols. Josiah did what was good and right all his life. There was no other king like Josiah. So in the story, we find out that God's people had gone away from God. They weren't following God's laws or rules anymore. And things weren't great, were they? Things had gotten kind of crazy, but they found God's word again. And God was still with them through all of that, even though... They weren't following God. So as soon as they found God's word again and started following it again, they got back in communication with God. They felt God's love again, even though God's love had never left them. They just didn't feel it anymore because they weren't with God anymore. So that's something we can remember for our lives. When we're following God, we really feel God's love. When we're not, we don't feel it as much. Even though God still loves us, we just don't have that connection. So that's why it's important to follow God and follow God's words. We're gonna make a craft today. We're gonna make a scroll. Let's go ahead and make that. For this craft, we're gonna want a strip of construction paper, two popsicle sticks, some ribbon, a marker, and a glue stick. So we're gonna make a scroll. So we're gonna take our strip of construction paper and we're gonna put some glue at the top and at the bottom of our paper. This may, oops, that was cut off, but this is what I did. And then that makes our scroll base. I'm gonna put a Bible verse in my scroll that kind of talks about the story. And I'm gonna put heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away. And that's Matthew twenty four. 35. This verse goes with the story because it's talking about how God's word was still with them, even though they hadn't been listening to it. They found the scroll and they started following God's word again, just like we sometimes do in our lives. Sometimes we move away from God, but then we find God again in our lives and get back on track. So then for the rest of the craft, what we're going to do is we're going to take the end and we're going to roll it up to make a scroll. I'm going to roll it up about halfway this way. 
I want the same thing from this end. And then I have my swirl like this, and I'll take my ribbon. My ribbon might be a little bit, but that's okay. And wrap it around. And then I have a scroll with a message from God wrapped in my little ribbon. So I hope you had fun this week. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you in Sunday school. Bye!